Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at our scene again real quick. There it is, zooming away. So what I've done in this case is, this is uh, part 10, by the way. Um, I've actually taken the four language dictionaries that I'm going to make, and I've put them into a, their own method here called foreign language dictionaries, and I took out the X out of it. So that's all separate by itself. But now I want a dictionary entry, say, that's associated specifically with uh, this file right here. So what I'm doing within main, but before I do it, I could do this elsewhere, but I basically I want to set a location for the Z value of the cube into a dictionary entry. So I come in here and I say if the Z location, if it's not defined in cube object, because this is the name of our container owner, controller owner, like this, if it's not in the cube object, then execute this command called init cube. And what this does down at the bottom, init cube, is a, it's its own method, and it's init cube, and it basically builds a dictionary entry called z location that's a part of this cube object routine. Okay, and it's not like this special dictionary like the Spanish dictionary is up there. And I set it equal to zero. And the reason I do that here is because if I had set it in its in a dictionary by itself, then and I initialized it every time, like if I didn't do this, if not is equal, if I just initialized it, then every time it would w run through and it would initialize this Z location entry and it would reset it to a value of zero each time. Well, I don't want to reset it to a value each time because that would kind of kill the purpose of it because there it is. So this only gets called the first time through the routine. And it's and the name is you know Z location. So then I can come up here and notice what I've done. Instead, when I'm positioning the Z position of the cube, instead of doing it by cube object that local position dot Z is equal to this hard coded number of 2.0, I equate it to cube object dot Z location. This dictionary entry right here, and that we know is equal to zero. Well, with that being in there, then I'm able to increment it like this. So let's say 5.0. So now each time it runs through this routine, it should take the, every time that cube gets reset, it should take the Z value of, well, that's actually not cube location, it's called cube object Z location. So now it should increment it by 5, maybe we'll increment it by 2, something like that. All right, and we'll save that. File, save and let's go run the code. So now when it runs, when that cube comes back, give it a little more power, you see it's raising up in the Z location more and more. The more I do it, the higher it raises. All right, let's run that again. We'll just run it slow, relatively slow. It's up a little bit higher. It's up a little bit higher. So it starts at a higher Z location each time through the routine. Because like I said, if I had not put in this in fact, let's take it out. Let's just initialize that dictionary entry like this. And now let's rerun it. And you'll notice it just stays there at the ground because it gets reset every time. All right, so I don't want it to get reset. And that's why I have to use this one little command like that. So it only calls it the first time. Then I can use it as a variable like I'm doing within here and incrementing it by two each time through. All right, so it's a little bit different. That's a dictionary entry associated with this this file here, with this controller owner cube object instead of a dictionary that I've specif specifically made called this. I could make one like that too as well. That'd be okay, but that's just another way you'll see it. In fact, that's commonly used because if you go into the logic bricks, let's go look at the logic bricks real quick. See over here, game property, you add a game property. Well, a property is basically a dictionary entry. And so that's basically we're just doing the same thing in code instead. Because in code, it gives us a lot more power. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.